Best to a shop, a mini fridge workbench build. I first launched the Fusion 360 from AutoCAD to create a 3D model, kind of using some 2x4 cutoffs and OSP plywood I have lying around. From the 3D model, I created a 2D set of plans, drawings, so I had something in the shop that I could use to mark out my 2x4s for the cuts. So first step is making the cuts on the miter saw. Okay, my miter saw currently just on the ground as I don't have a stand yet built. To it. So after getting all the 2x4s cut, I grab my small Craig jig. I much prefer to do this on a workbench. So I can build a workbench so I can do that. A little interesting holding it on the ground. Definitely not something I fully recommend. But the pocket holes can kind of make this whole bench easy to put together with minimal clamping and other tools. I don't know what boxes they're still in. So after getting everything, all the pieces, all the pocket holes in it, laid everything out on the floor. And this isn't a super pretty or precision piece. It's really just so I can get a surface above my mini fridge so I stop throwing things on top of the fridge. And a little bit of tool box storage like for a couple of my nicer like Festool and things like that. Next to it, there's a surface I can toss a phone and other stuff on top of the bench. So after getting the frames, both frames built, I then kind of stood them both up. Probably not my best method of putting these together, but again, don't have my access to my clamps yet as they're in a box either in the storage unit or somewhere in the somewhere in this gigantic mess. Again, because I already have the pocket holes in, you can pre-load the pocket hole screws into the little pocket. So you're not trying to fight with one screw and put stuff in together, so you can just focus on holding the bench itself. Getting that all cut up, I grabbed my Festool Love the saw, super great. If you don't have a track saw, there are other options, but I don't think there is anything better than breaking down sheet good in breaking down sheet goods than a track saw. A lot safer than trying to use a table saw to do any of that kind of stuff. Um, I laid the piece of OSB, not my favorite material, but it will work in for this instance, and it, the price was right. We got a whole big, basically four foot by three foot pallet um, container, shipping container of it. So I've got a bunch of it lying around and it was free. So it makes the perfect sacrificial top for some workbenches and some shelving storage. Uh, to put the top on, I just grabbed my 18 gauge pass load uh, cordless nailer. I wanted this to be relatively quick to take off. Didn't really want to put a whole bunch of screws in this because I don't have any cheaper screws. I didn't really feel like putting, filling this thing up with <laughs> nicer screws. Was building this. So after I get the top all put together, threw the shelf on the bottom, and then loaded it up into the shop. I put my Festool track saw, I got a Festool sander, Bosch sander. As you can see the mini fridge fits in there nicely. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button. Uh, this is going to be a nice long project for us, converting this absolute mess of a workspace into a fully functional shop. If you're interested in the plans for this, uh, I'll probably have a shoot me an email or message here. I can send those out to you. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.